Hi everyone, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer and a while back I did some reviews on playhouses for little kiddos that I owned and there were a couple that I left out because I put everything back away and it was just a lot to take down again. So today since it's just me around here I decided okay I'll, I'll do one. So this is the little kiddo three-story house. Really cool. Um, of course it's not my original, I picked it up later on and a lot of them I've gotten as gifts uh, to kind of replenish my childhood toys so for things like Mother's Day and Christmas. Um, but this is the Little Kittle three-story house. It's really cool, it has very bright graphics. The only thing about these graphics is it's harder for me to figure out the Kittles on them. Um, the other ones are pretty right on. You can tell who it is by their accessory that they're playing with outside. This one is more of, has more of a generic -y feel to it. Now I can I can figure out some. Like um, I'm thinking this is a skididdler. I'm not sure which one. The hair doesn't help me there. Her hair doesn't help me here. Um, on the side, you can tell we have Raleigh. Raleigh's here, and. This one I'm not sure of, and these don't look familiar, so I'm thinking they could have been outfits that you could have had for skadiddlers. Um, this one is Slipsy, and then this one is Lemons, and I'm thinking she's a skadiddler, and I'm not sure of her. And then, let's see which one. Um, there's Campy over here. Her I don't know. So it's very uh, more generic-y. I mean, they're, they're cute. They're pretty. Uh, this came out in 68, and I would think at that time they would have just had the clear-cut pictures of them, but um, they went for a more artsy feel. Maybe it was just cheaper to just do something generic-y. Um, this one is also starting to feel a little sticky, the vinyl. I have to try to clean this up again. Maybe it won't be sticky. I don't know why. It's getting warmer it is, but I'll try some uh, doll cleaner on it. So if we open this up, you have three stories of fun, ah, and everything fell. Um, this has some of the Snap Happy furniture in it. I love the Snap Happy furniture. Um, it was nice, affordable little furniture for your dolls. As you can see, I've got beds in there that I've, I've accumulated some of these. Oh, and unsnapped. Originally there were little mattresses, like the little foam mattresses, but those disintegrated over the years, so you, it's hard to find those actually intact, but then it had the bedspread on top. And you had things like dressers and, and more dressers and bureaus and um, if we take this stuff out, lots of chairs. Um, you can see we have a swimming pool area. This is the patio area. There's a fire pit. We have a shuffleboard on the inside. We have um, a birdie in a cage all on the backdrop, uh, another, you know, printed furniture in case you didn't have Snap Happy furniture to put in there. Now the Snap Happy furniture used to also come in um, already boxed with a room and a doll. I know that's how I got a kitchen set years ago because it had Hildy in there, in there and I think that's the only way you can get her. I don't have it anymore but I do have my doll. So I don't know what happened to my furniture. I really can't remember giving it away or my play set. So I'm not quite sure. So if we take everything out, all my Snap Happy furniture, you can see the rooms better. This is definitely a bedroom upstairs. You've got a nice bright window to look out. Uh, pretend carpet, pretend window, pretend very pretty little area. Um, this one I think I sometimes used as a dining area or um, a living room area or sometimes I made it into a kitchen. You know, there's only three levels. What were you gonna make it in? This is kind of a more of a rec room area. It's not exactly the kitchen area, but um, you know, you could have fun with it however you wanted to. It doesn't talk, it just opens and closes. And I will be leaving it out to give it a nice cleaning too, I think. Uh, but if you have some Snap Happy furniture, it's really easy to decorate. The dolls love it. I have a lot of furniture. Not a lot of the outdoor furniture, but I also have it spread between all the other playhouses. So that's why I only have so many things. I have a lot of chair, but I only have, I don't have a lot of the uh, outside chairs here. And this is missing the spread. It's over there. So, I mean, it, it was a good, good playhouse for the, um, the money. Uh, it was probably 
maybe eight or nine dollars in the day, uh, which <sighs> seems like uh, nothing, but it was a lot at that time. So it's a fun piece to have, and it holds a lot of kittles because I had tons of kittles and tons of tiny Barbies that live in there and um, pretty much anybody that's about this tall. So look for the three-story house. Usually you can find them pretty well. This has got a nice clasp on it. It has carrying handle and you know I like carrying handles. Um, most of these you can find in pretty good condition. A little bit wear and tear on it but not that bad. Like I said this one's starting to get sticky and which is kind of not normal because my other ones haven't gotten sticky so maybe it just has a little bit of a different kind of vinyl on it but um it's a fun set to have and i'll talk to you later with another one bye